Okay, before I go for a world record attempt with a shotgun slug, I'm gonna need to get some practice, need to get warmed up. Got a dragon's breath here. Got some bushes I need to get rid of. I don't know if you've seen it. The dragon's breath went flying through the woods there, too. That's how we get rid of bushes in America. Okay, this is a world record attempt. This is 492 yards, I do believe. The thing I'll put a screenshot in at the beginning or end of the video. Plus or minus four yards. And I thought that elevation was lower. It's higher. It's 10 feet higher, I think it is. So it's going to be a challenge. Let's see if I can zoom in. And it, oh, right down there she is. <laughs> That's as far as I can zoom in. It's going to be impressive. Only bad part here. I won't be able to see where the bullets are hitting. I, I'm just gonna try it. It's pouring down rain. This is when records are beaten though. So I'm going to leave that zoomed in maybe the first, first couple tries here. Cause I, I plan on hitting it the first try, definitely. So let me get my gun loaded up. Looks like I got my ammo sitting inside cause it's raining all heck and back. Let me get my sight cranked the whole way up here. Okay, gonna have to aim super, super, super high. Gonna crank the whole way up. I was actually gonna put spacers in here, but let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, found a target. That was way low. I seen that one. Way, way low. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let me zoom you out here. Man, I don't know if you guys could see where that one hit, but it was low. I got one more in my pocket here. Hey, I can't tell where it's sitting. That's what sucks. That's what's bad with this area. It's so grown up. It's hard to find. Is that a car down there on the other side of the hill? Yeah, maybe side by sides. There's all kinds of carnage out here. We'll have to try it or check it out. Nope. Yeah, so that's the other hill. Actually, there's a solar field going there. Looks like a car rolled down. <laughs> there's a Jeep up the road here. It's toes too. Must have been one hell of a, a week, I guess. And one of the windmill blades broke too. Okay, I'm definitely having a hard time. I can't even see where you're hitting. One hit really low. I mean, impressive low. I don't know. Keep trying. It still doesn't like these slugs. I don't know why. Ah, that might have been me there too, because it's kind of, if you hold up on this magazine, it seems to kind of jam. I don't know if I was there. It sucks so bad shooting this many slugs. <laughs> Man, that was close. I seen that one. All right. So I was definitely shooting a bit high. That was close. I got that one pretty close. 
Let me get a few more loaded up here. This sucks shooting this many slugs. Okay, I got five more shoulder bruisers lined up here. It's a different ammo too, so it might shoot different. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna call it here. My shoulder is killing me after I, I just switched to the three inch slugs. Oh, that last one hurt so bad. <clears throat> the gun is not liking these slugs at all. I don't, like it works good, regular shot, but the slugs, yeah, it's not liking it today either. Uh, I can't see where the bullet's hitting. The one I did get close. But I was using a bunch of different ammo because it's kind of hard to find a bunch of slugs. But anyway, these Remingtons, they actually were kicking harder. I mean, they, the brass was taller, so I'm assuming they must have had more gunpowder in. And then the Federals, I have Federals in there too. I had to switch to the three inch. And that, man, it was just killing my shoulder. Maybe I'll try some just standing up here. Sure, let's see, I got a couple more. Yep, there it is, I couldn't do it. It's just, I can't see where they're hitting. When I kept switching ammo too, it's seemed different. The three inch, man, they kick hard. But first casualty of a Silver Eagle, this safety is toast, man. It was just, look, it just rattling the crap in back. There's a couple of them weren't working. So I don't know if this thing's, I gotta see what's going on there. Oh, I found out too, to take this apart, uh, you gotta take this butt plate off. And then there's a, I think a 10 millimeter bolt or nut down in here comes out and that comes apart. So I'm gonna take that apart, look at it. Uh, we will definitely get that though. I had a few of them did get close. That sucks, man. I really want to do that. Yeah. I just I can't see where they're hitting. Like I don't know if I'm shooting too high. I think I'm shooting too high. Hey, we'll go up, take a look, and if I'm close, we'll come back. I still got some ammo left, but not a whole bunch. So we're on, take a look. Okay, I'm pretty sure one hit in here. I can't see it because it's in the grass there, but right up there is a target. I'm pretty sure a hit in here. I don't see any other strike marks anywhere close. I should have had the, the target over this area. I think it's where I had it last time. That way you can kind of see on the dirt where you're hitting. But yeah, I don't see any close, but definitely be back out and just working my gun a little bit. She did. <laughs> Too many slugs out of it, I think. <clears throat> My poor shoulder, too. So, we'll be back out. We'll get her. Today, I don't know how fucked up it's fucked up. Pretty fucked up. Got the fog rolling in. I don't know. See the end of the, the blades all messed up. Another. How fucked up it's fucked up. Pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> 